October 2010 will mark the centennial of the construction of the University of Toronto's first dedicated library, which is now the Science Library and known as the Gerstein Science Information Centre. This short presentation outlines the history of the building. These early pictures show the campus in about 1900, with the tower of the main library at the left and the shadow of University College at the right and the library tower from the south. This view of the city of Toronto from approximately 1905 shows the University Library at the left with the smog-shrouded city in the background. After fire destroyed the original library in University College on Valentine's Day in 1890, a new dedicated library building opened in 1892. The collection grew rapidly and space became an issue. This drawing by the university architect A.B. Dick shows the building's original exterior from the front with the book stacks at the south end. In 1910, the book stacks were converted to reading rooms and a separate faculty reading room was added at the south end, shown here by an arrow. At the same time, a new separate book stacks wing with a capacity of 250,000 volumes was constructed at the east side of the building into the ravine towards Queen's Park. Here, construction begins with Queen's Park in the background. Horse-powered methods were used in construction of the main stack wing. Shown here from the northeast, the stack wing is nearing completion. This is the completed 1910 library from the southeast, taken from the approximate location of the McMurrick building and showing the extent of the additions. This modern picture shows the stack wing as it is today and after dark. It is designated under the Ontario Heritage Act and is on the City of Toronto's list of heritage properties. The official opening of the building on October 3, 1910 was noted by the Varsity the next day. Here you see a stack floor with low light levels as it may have looked in 1910 and as they are today. The original porcelain light fixtures can still be seen. Threat of fire was a major concern and led to the use of glass flooring, both as a fire deterrent and as an aid in illumination. In addition, the book stacks themselves were freestanding metal units the height of the five floors. This is the entrance hallway and service desk as it was from 1892 to 1910. The entrance to the original book stacks is at the right and note the skylight. Here is the same entrance hallway after the 1910 renovations. The ceiling is now open to the floor above and new light fixtures have been installed. The original reading room before the renovations served the entire university community. In 1910, faculty members acquired their own segregated reading room with a separate entrance, while women were separated from the men in their own reading rooms. The wall at the far end of this photo has subsequently been opened up. This is now the quiet study area. The men's reading room, shown here in two photos from 1910, recently became the light-filled Gerstein reading room. The 2008 renovations have won several architectural awards. In 1954-55, the Sigmund Samuel Wing was added to the north. In 1973, the Robarts Library opened and the Humanities and Social Science books were moved there. In 2002, the Morrison Pavilion was added on the east and additional renovations to the Gerstein Reading Rooms were made in 2007-2008. Having served thousands of students in all disciplines for over 100 years, the Gerstein Science Information Centre continues as the library to the scientific community and as an integral part of the wider community at the University of Toronto.